Today we'll talk about missing persons. In the first reading on Sunday, we heard about the disciples, the 12 apostles, 11 apostles now, get together after Jesus' resurrection, and they're gonna carry out his mission of bringing his word to the world. And to do that, they wanna fill in their places. There's one man who's missing, Judas. Judas must have been a good man. Jesus picked him. He must have had values that Jesus saw and liked. He must have had something that attracted Jesus to him. But for some reason, he dropped out. Now the disciples said, we need someone who had his talents and his gifts to take his place. And so they picked Matthias. There are a lot of missing persons in our church today. Two or three generations ago, there would have been 70% of the people who are Catholics who would have been at Mass. Today, between 25 and 30% of people who claim to be Catholics are at Mass. We miss them and we need them. One of the striking things is that I've read, I always thought that, that uh, when people left the church, they were already adults and they found something wrong with the church, something that they didn't believe in anymore, and they left the church then. But I read very recently in a survey that was done that 85% of people who leave the church leave it before they're 17. That means they've really had no great experience of church because it shows they, they don't, uh, they, they, the surveys show that they don't have not been to mass once a month or less and they don't have superior support from their friends or from their family to live the faith. We need them. We need so many more to do the work of Jesus in the world. So what's our role? Our role is to pray that these missing place, places will be filled, that these missing persons will take their place with us. We need to give them good example by living the Christian life as we should live it. And we need, when the moment is right, to invite them back. Think about it. And to help us think about it, here are some words from the Acts of the Apostles and from Pope Francis.